Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Joe Stizzy back here with another Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And you're probably wondering what I'm doing back here in the outskirts of Costa del Sol. I forget what these waterfalls are called. Well, back when we originally came here, uh, you may remember, we were doing a quest for helping Johnny out in his new hotel, and we were these clones that Yuffie had made of Johnny uh, in a previous episode were out of control and they were trying to find materials to help his hotel out and then we agreed to find the materials so that they just wouldn't be running amok and I found some I think there were eight in total I found four or five something like that and I just completely forgot and then I remembered and I I thought well because they were near zipline locations and I thought well maybe there were just some that I had missed and sure enough there were a couple that I, I zip lines that I just overlooked in fact one of them was right near the gym that I was uh, spent a lot of time at so completely missed those so I went back grabbed the materials got all eight of them now I can uh, finish this quest up before I head on further down south so you find anything Yes, I did. Whoa! Honestly, we don't even remember collecting this much stuff. You're incredible. You got that right. Our bros a cut above. I guess we better get this hall back to our palace, kind of, sort of, by the sea. Which means our work here is done, right? Well, since you asked, a couple of the other Johnnies went looking for parts to fix the boiler. Wait. There's more of you? Yep, and I bet they could really use your help. I think they were headed toward one of those old Republic era factories. Tell them Johnny says hi. It's a thing we do. Okay, well, I wondered where that boiler valve would uh, come into place. <laughs> All right. Luckily, I think I could fast travel pretty close to where they are. Yeah, right next to them. Hey there, bro. Hey, Johnny said that you needed my help. What? No, no I, I didn't. didn't. Wait, was, was it you? you? Not me. So, so you're, you're saying, saying it was me? me. No, no way. You're, you're too stubborn, stubborn to ask for help. Hey, you talking shit about me? <laughs> you two are a riot. Have you thought about starting a two-man show? I bet it'd be a smash hit, right? So? Well, we were looking for a part to help us repair the boiler, but it turns out nobody makes it anymore. Then we thought, why don't we just make it ourselves? So to do that, we're hunting for a transmuter chip. Any luck? Sure wish we had a chocobo right about now. <sighs> okay, I'll take it from here. So Sweet! We're looking for instructions on how to craft a boiler valve. And if you find one of those chips, feel free to just transmute a valve yourself. Are you trying to give us even more work? You two are the best. Yes, yes they are. Here, X marks the spot. Wait, didn't we try digging there before? Come on, trust me. Oh, it's going through all the objectives already finished, because I've crafted one of these. Oh, baby, this is it! That boiler is as good as fixed. Hot, steamy showers in every room. <sighs> well, we should probably report back to Johnny now that we've bailed out all the others. Uh, actually... There's one more. <sighs> Where is he? Said he wanted to give the hotel royal flair by putting the Tonberry King's crown on display. Last we heard, he was desert bound. Hope he's not dying of thirst or knife wounds. You wouldn't mind going to check on him for us, would you, bro? Not at all. You're the best! Well, we got a boiler to fix, so we're gonna head back. Our other life is in your hands, bro. Y'all aren't even real, you're just clones. <laughs> 
You don't have a soul. <laughs> okay, well, we're... Alright, he's there. Not too far. Luckily, I've already taken on the Tomberry King and grabbed his crown. I can't believe you're here, bro! Me neither. Well, I'm glad you are. You see, we're renovating the hotel. And I thought a Tonberry King's crown would give the place that palatial feel. But it's, uh, somewhere over there. Rumor has it, the Tonberry King lives somewhere nearby. But there's no way your boy Johnny can get through the desert on foot. Listen, bro, I don't know if you were planning to check out the dunes, but if you are, you'd really be doing me a solid if you brought me back that crown. Preferably in the most pristine condition possible. Actually, we already dethroned that royal reject, didn't we? You took down the Tonberry King for us? Thanks, bro! On behalf of all Johnnies! So, where's the crown? Just to be clear, I didn't do it for you. <laughs> Uh, how do you think she'll get the hand over pristine crown? Whoa! Get a load of the shine on that baby! It is positively legendary! And we went through positively legendary trouble to get it for you. Don't worry, the fruits of your labor are gonna be on full display. Man, I can't wait to see the look on my face when I see this! I'm gonna take this baby back to the hotel. Be sure to swing by when you have the chance. I'm sure one of me will have something real nice waiting for you. I was hoping to see a lot less of you these days, Johnny. Oh, well, I better go turn this in. Luckily, I did... Well, everything. <laughs> um... Well, besides the uh, gathering up the rest of the materials, but uh, where is the nearest fast travel point in town? Is it here? Uh, just middle of town, I guess. All right. Oh, that's right. Transport me right outside. Okay. That's right. Bow before your wheelie master. Unfortunately, we don't have time. Not going to be here long enough to justify the beach outfits, or are we? Oh, I can't help it. It'd be nice if they would just switch back to them automatically, even if they're, you know, once you get into town or back in this region. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay. I didn't even have to. What about the Wu Tai pop star? Yeah, well, that's very nice. It kind of goes. And of course, everybody else has their preferred beach attire equipped. He's putting them to work. Show me the hot water. You got it. Good news, bro. All of me made it back in one piece. And it sounds like I really put you through the ringer. Sorry about that. <laughs> no biggie. So what now? Want me to poop him? What? No, not yet. We're in the middle of renovating, and I'm gonna need all my hands on deck to finish. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say I remodeled this place all by myself. Right, Johnnies? Yeah, bro. I feel like that's kind of cheating. Me and me's are set on seeing this through the end. 
But once we're finished, it's gonna be the finest hotel in the whole world. Just you wait. Wait, do we have to stick around till he finishes? Welcome to Johnny Seaside in Remake. Apparently, we do. Hey! Oh my... <laughs> He's customized our rooms for us! <laughs> so, what do you think, bro? I'm impressed. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. You are absolutely right. You couldn't have done any of this without my incredible ninjutsu. Couldn't have done it without the J-Squad, either. I don't go getting all sentimental. We were just doing what you would have done. You said it. We, we all want what's, what's best, best for this place. place. It's, it's our home. And, and none, none of us would be standing here today if it weren't for you, you Johnny, Johnny Prime. Prime. Truly, you are the realest bro, bro. <laughs> well, I'm just happy to know that whatever trials await, we'll face them together. Uh, yeah, about that. Now that all the renovations are complete, I think it's time that we peace out. What? Don't worry. You got this, Johnny. Johnny? <laughs> you don't need us anymore, Johnny. You've got you. Johnny! Johnny! Johnny. Okay, I thought he's gonna go to the, go to the whole line of Johnny's. <laughs> you know, I couldn't stand listening to them bicker. And now. I already miss the sound of our melodious voice. I lost a part of myself today. I think that means you're just a narcissist, Johnny. You gonna let that stop you? Huh? You've got a hotel to run. That's true. I remodeled this place with my own 14 hands. <clears throat> I owe it to me and myself to see that our hard work doesn't go to waste. Oh yeah! I'm gonna be seven Johnnies in one! I think one of you is more than enough. Oh, that means a lot coming from you, bro. Oh, almost forgot. I set up a little space to show off your collection. I'd love to showcase any rare or interesting artifacts you happen to come across. And rest assured, you'll be handsomely rewarded for them. I've got my heart set on becoming the best in the business, so look out, hotel industry. We'll attract guests from far and wide with luxurious lodgings and unbeatable hospitality. But you'll always have a room with your name on it, my bro, because when you're here, you're Johnny. <laughs> Johnny's treasure trove. Johnny is amassing a collection of rare curios from all around the world to elevate his seaside inn to a seven-star institution. Win many games and complete various objectives around the world to obtain star collector's items and automatically donate them to your best bro. Press L2 to view your current treasure trove as well as hints on how to find more collector's items. Wow. So I got a few already. Johnny's secret test tightly locked. What could be hidden inside? Okay, I got 33 out of 88. Wow. So there's a lot more. Um, got some cards with little Johnny on it. Jesus, that quest was actually funnier than I thought it'd be. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I never did that one. I don't think. Yeah, well, you know, obviously. Looks like most of them are... Most of the Im info is... Yeah, that's the... Uh, that's, I guess, we're beating Jules.
Won all of the grade 3 races of the Gold Saucer. I'll do that eventually. Complete all easy rank car challenges at the Gold Saucer. I thought I did that. Complete all easy rank six person team battles with the Gold Saucer's Musclehead Coliseum. Uh, yeah, there's just one more I haven't done, so. I guess a lot of these are for mini games I haven't unlocked yet. Uh, win the Beast Battlegrounds Prison Tourney in the Dust Bowl. Oh, yeah, I always forget about that. You gotta go back down there one day. Find and excavate a particular rabbit burrow with a chocobo in the grasslands. Interesting. Find and excavate burrow in Junon, Corel, Gaga. Hmm. What are these rabbit burrows? Stuff <laughs> Oh, these are all the one all the collectibles I bought at Gold Saucer. Jeez. So honestly, not a lot of Complete Four Condor on hard mode in the Junon region. Uh, oh, yeah, I know where that is and what I have to do, but that could be pretty tough. All right. It's good to know. Got anything rare and exotic for me? I guess he automatically just uh, automatically go into his collection once you get them. I was, yeah. Well, I was wondering where all this stuff was going to go. Let's check out these rooms. Okay. Oh, it's all Atifa's gauntlets and gloves. Alright, this must be her. Okay, some of those are from the remake, the previous game, I recognize. In fact, all of those might be. Let's see. Here's Yuffie's. Although I do not recognize those weapons. These are Aerith staffs. Yeah, those are ones from Remake. Huh. Those pe all pegs are missing. Ah! Cloud's weapons. Yep, Remake weapons. Baird's arms. Yeah, there's that melee, the top right uh, one. And, uh, oh yeah, he had this, this one where there's a spiked cannonball at the end. That'd be cool if you get some of those, get those weapons back, even if they were purely for, you know, just cosmetics. Um, let's rest. I wonder what could fit, I wonder what could be on those wall pegs. There's the Tomberry King crown. This was infinite we like a dragon, infinite wealth. Those could be the Aquanaut weapons, but I wonder where Red Thirteens. I wonder if his collars are on display anywhere, or will be. Maybe you have to collect a certain number because I was looking at the trophies last night, and there are 
I think there's a trophy all the way up to collecting, I believe, 70? I don't think you have to get all 88 to get the final trophy tied to his Johnny's Treasure Trove. It's changed so much, I almost didn't recognize it. Rustic charm notwithstanding, I would have never stayed there. The owner's collection of artifacts could prove interesting subject matter. Yeah, it's a lot nicer now. It's still not by the seaside, but it's a lot nicer. Oh my goodness, he cleared out the crates, finally. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. I wonder if that's some... I wonder if that's some extra difficult coliseum or something like that. All right, let's. You ready for a swashbuckler? Um, yes. The ghost ship. Okay, yeah, I gotta get rank three. That's the thing. Oh yeah, I forgot about. It. Off to a rip roaring start. How did I miss that twice? <laughs> I think I need to turn down my sensitivity a little bit. Or, I mean, like the in game, change the setting. Missed all those. Yep. Terrible, just terrible. Oh, got him. I need. Oh. I'll try again. It's the first round I just do so badly at. Well, let's try it at this aim speed. See if there's an improvement. Yeah, that wasn't terrible, except I didn't get any of the ones that flipped over. Oh, that was awful. I tried to I tried to aim for like three different ones. Damn it. 
Gotcha. Dang it. That's better than what I have done, but still not really close to what I need. Hmm. Okay. See you next time, matey. Alright, well, that's just. Yeah, I think that's just something I don't have to do on my own time. Uh, try to get that. Um. Is there fast travel there? No, still not fast travel to Johnny Seaside in. Oh well. I'm kind of also interested in this, these rabbit burrows that are hidden around every region, but. Again, that's. Probably just be something I look, for, look at, uh, at during my own time. I think for now, I'm just, uh, I'm ready to move on. Move south into Gungaga. And for that, we must go south, my son. Slow. All right. Is this a cliff? Yes, it is. Oh, but there is some sort of seaside town or shack, at least some shacks over there. You heard the cat. Hmm, it's in this warehouse. Some rusty containers and old canisters of something. Strip. Hmm. Looks like an unused airstrip. Like anything really to see here.
Yep, whole lot of nothing. Can I not call my buggy here? Oh, that's... I was kind of counting on that, so I wouldn't have to walk back, but... There we go. Is there a crossing here? Yeah, here we go. popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure, uh, that's... Uh... Cloud? You okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. Hmm, a little deja vu, eh? Summon entity. Jata. Now that's new. Speaking of new, any new materia? Mm. Nah. Actually, I think barriers new. Okay, I never thought of this before. What is the difference between Barrier, Mana Ward, and Protect, and Shell? Fortification Materia, as you can see from the description, if you pair it with a Warding Materia, it, gets you it grants you resistance to physical and magic defense reduction, but does it have the same effect as Barrier and Mana Ward? Because this barrier material was in the remake. But now that I think about it, I don't know if fortification material was in the remake. Disempowerment, I think that's new too. That'll probably wait on that one, I think. Oh, hey, look, new gear. Um... Before I do that, though, before I going a spending spree. I wanted to check, yeah, let's see. I did ask, yeah, I did level up a few of the bangles for some of the party, but apparently these outlaw these outlaw bangles are even better. Uh, um I just... How many can I buy? Oof. That's... A, mm, mm, very expensive. But... It'll be worth it, I think. Not much of... Not much of a boost, but, um... We're all outlaws now. 
And is this? Oh yeah, this only has two. That's right. Yeah. Great magic defense, but I like more than two materia. There we are. Okay, now what can we equip with our brand new slots? Great if I had another magnify materia, but I don't. So yeah, let's. Oh no, not that one. I want to switch with that. Although I guess, yeah, that would resist me stopping starting. So yeah, maybe I should do that because <laughs> that is really annoying. D protect and D shell are also very annoying, but. Not being hindered, I think will be even better. Um, hmm. What is she? Which she just has wind, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's give your item economizer just so we have it on more than one more than one character. Give Barrett the binding. It's actually let's give let's give Kate Sith some actually offensive materia too. Gravity? Go with gravity. Um, or do I want... Yeah, let's go strength up. Let's just have... Just have Tifa just be the total powerhouse. Or more, <laughs> more so than she already is. Uh, MP, HP, wind. Oh my goodness, I right. didn't even notice that. A double wind materia. Let's give her gravity. Let's give her HP absorption too with these two spells. Uh, oh yeah, I can finally take that off. Don't really need that. <sighs> Although poison materia linked with elemental might not be bad if 
there's a chance that you can um, you can inflict poison on your enemy. That might be pretty good. Um, let's see. I don't think I. I I think I just have one. Yeah. These elemental material were very hard to come by in the previous game, and I got a feeling it's going to be the same way in this one. Um... Get, do I have an HP? Do I have another spare HP up? Yeah, let's do that. And actually, let us put AP up linked to that. That way he can kind of catch up to everybody. Of course, they require a lot of HP to level up. Understandably so. Okay. Yeah, I think everything, I think everybody's sitting pretty right there with that set up. Anything back here? If he's not banging around the barrels. Down by the beach, Madame Mercy. Oh, monster! Come out, come out wherever you are. Rare and fast variant detected. Commencing guidance protocol during mating season. The males undergoing chromatic change to attract females. Visual analysis suggests love is in the air. In order to draw its intended mate's attention, the amphidex will let air resonate through its vocal sac, resulting in But I like fighting. Alright, stagger, don't get caught in the... <laughs> nice try. Alright, pastel, amphidex, weakness, blizzard. Okay. No, 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 no. So I do have Blizzard. Man, they hurt. They like to spam that. This shit hit the one. There we go. There we go. Uh, darn it. Oh no! Bear got turned into a frog! Oh, but apparently it didn't disqualify me from it. Aha, uh -huh, maybe it's just the one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that must only apply to the, the player-controlled character. Because I was thinking, I was like, these guys are spamming this attack so much. How might how, how are the NPCs, uh, the uh, not the NPCs, but the AI AI-controlled characters gonna dodge it? And uh, but luckily, it didn't uh, 
conditions weren't that restrictive. Hmm. Can I climb up? Yeah. Oh, this goes all the way up top here. This tribalistic type music certainly does bring jungles to mind. Um, I actually want first before I before I get too deep into the jungle, I did want to go back and see what those shacks by the by the water were. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This this is the cave earlier. This will take me back. Whoa. I assume I can get back? Yeah, there we go. Chimera Mimic! Make the blizzard and lightning. Intimidating looking enemy, but they actually were pretty easy. Our first jungle chocobo sighting. You don't have a tiki leaf on your tail. There's more toads. Some buried in them. What is this thing? Right. Tentacle fiends that take root in heavily wooded areas absorb nutrients from the soil until they bloom, at which point their appetite becomes markedly more bloodthirsty. But like a lot of like a lot of botany, they're weak to fire. Time to stop that growth spurt. Oh. Still managed to bloom. But not for long.
Ah, finally here. Gongaga Port. Hmm. The GYC is in charge of tracking cargo. I don't know what that is. Got nothing but the best here. Oh, thanks. I don't know if I'm in the market for rugs or giant flower petals, but potions I'll take. I didn't buy anything, but thank you. Nope. My keen eye, I almost missed those. Not that there was anything in them, but... There could be, and that's the point. That's why we destroy them. To, sailor. I don't see a ship or a boat or anything. Flush green forests are great and all, but there's nothing more calming than the deep blue of the sea. I like looking at the sea from a distance or on a beach. Actually going out there, like I've been out there a few times, deep sea fishing, and uh, it's great, but, you know, not really much to look at or do when you're in the middle of it. Hmm, I do like a good mushroom, though. Alright, well... Nothing really of note there, but hey, it's just another part of the piece that makes up the whole world of Final Fantasy VII. Whose world name still escapes me. And what is this? I did not. So apparently I will not be able to use this unless I get a forged chocobo. Alright. Let's go all the way back. Tuck back here. I guess not. I guess those ledges that were just, they, they seemed like they were perfectly made to be, to climb up and I just sort of expected there to be something at the top or lead somewhere else, but I guess it was just kind of a shortcut, cutting the other side. Okay, well, torches on this path, so this might be the way to the village. But 
Oh yeah, I already sensed them. Taking these guys out with relative ease. I wonder if I'm just because I, I've done a lot of exploration, done pretty much all the intel that I've come across, and I've done some quite a few of the arena fights. I wonder if I'm a little over leveled for this area, but uh, hey, that's fine with me. Um, that means I've I've earned this experience, and. If it just makes it a little bit easier, that's cool with me, but, uh, yeah, okay, well, we just, we're taking our first steps into the lush jungles of Gungaga, and we're gonna get, well, we don't need Machete, uh, he's got his, Cloud's got his giant sword with him, so, next time we will cut our way further and get further into the jungle and see if we can stumble upon the village of Gongaga, which seems to have some significance to both Aerith and Cloud. I wonder what that could be. But uh, anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you in the next one. Till then, y'all take care.